Well, abandoned records and photographs recently discovered inside a historic North Knoxville home are giving us a rare glimpse into Knoxville's musical past. As Emily DeVoe tells us, film archivist and record collector Bradley Reeves hopes someone might recognize the faces in the pictures to help share their story. A historical treasure hidden from view in a North Knoxville basement for years. This stuff usually doesn't survive. Is now in the hands of film archivist Bradley Reeves. The amount of dirt and grime on the records and the amount of uh, dirt in the creases and the damage to the original photographs themselves said to me that these had been tucked away and forgotten about for many years. He got a call from the owners here at Lost and Found Records where it's not unusual for someone to drop off old music. Whenever they find old blues and jazz 78s, they contact me and they let me know. But uh, this one even surprised me. I did not even expect what was in store. Discovered in a bucket inside the basement of a historic home being restored were priceless blues and jazz records. But inside that bucket, or tub, to be exact, was well, some of the coolest uh, early rhythm and blues and jazz and swing. When you lose your money. There was a, a mixture back in the late 1940s, early 1950s, where they mixed jazz, rhythm and blues, gospel, and it created a sound all of its own, and it led to the beginnings of rock and roll. And man, it's good stuff. Finding something like this is extremely. And an even bigger surprise. Uh, scarce. Photographs depicting things. life for Knoxville's African American community that seem to date back to before the 1920s. It's, all, it's also interesting know, to know who would work with African Americans during that time period, say 1915, 1920, uh, to develop their pictures and to produce negatives and photographs. A K jeweler stamp on the back gives some insight into who developed it them. It must be from the teens, just from the, uh, the color, the colorization, the type of clothing that he's wearing, and I don't know who he is. But Reeves is hoping to find out who's in them, too. Photos. It's been a real gem and a really nice uh, look at some forgotten African American culture. <laughs> He hopes it won't stay forgotten for long. In Knoxville, I'm Emily DeVoe. All right, so if you think find. you might, huh? I said, what a neat find. Amazing. And if you think you might recognize someone in the taxi cab photo or of one of the others, Reeves is hoping that you'll reach out. He will be playing the records live on air April 1st on WDVX. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's awesome.